It's critically important in our program that a child understands where their 10 is. All basic arithmetic in a base 10 system is going to um, make logical sense when we know where our 10 is. And most children have a tendency not to know where that 10 is. And you can, you can check this by having them count backwards, where they'll say 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, and if you listened carefully, that big pause they put between 39 and 40 is actually breaking their 10 unit in the wrong place. And children will often have a hard time breaking across their 10. So let's talk about our addition for just a minute. When we want to do an addition problem, let's just write down a few. Basic addition. Okay. What we want to look at is the bigger number. How many more does 8 need to be 10? It needs 2. Where's it going to get the 2 from? From the 6. And that's going to leave 4 behind. So there is my 10 part. One group of 10. And how many singles do I still have left there? 4. 9 is the larger number. We always want to start with the larger number. How many more do I need to make 10? I just need 1 if I have a 9. So 1, 6. There is my 10 part and I have six singles left over. Okay. And eight wants to be a 10. How many more do I need to make 10? Two. If I take two out of five, I have three left behind. Here's my 10 part. You see, there's no counting up. There's no fingers. Nothing is required in basic math other than knowing where my 10 part is, which is this, and how many singles I have left over here. 